Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Shout Out Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here today once again to talk about The New Mutants. Finally watched this movie. Obviously, I wasn't going to go to the theater to risk my life to get like a measly 30 views or whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I've done that plenty of times. It's not worth it. And so I just waited for it to go on Amazon. And you know, obviously, it's PG-13. You know my stance. I'm sick of being an adult and having to watch all these PG-13 movies. I mean, it's almost like adults are now so immature and childish that they're all 13 on the inside. <laughs> like, especially if you go on Twitter and you see all the trash opinions there, all the trash people on there. You know, it's almost like everyone has just gotten worse and worse and worse because of the films they put out, these PG-13 trash baby movies. This movie is so babyish. This movie is the equivalent of Something Wicked This Way Comes. Uh, it's basically about these teenagers who are mutants and they're in a quote asylum together with this one head doctor, nurse, whatever and she's evil of course and it's just oh god it's like glass I mean they make glass a second time <laughs> they make glass a second time they already made glass last year and you just released another glass <laughs> How is that possible? I mean, what, what was, who, this movie sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. I mean, first off, you got the main character, Cliche 101. Uh, I'm a teenage girl and, uh, and I have this big question about my past and I don't know. And, oh, and I'm, I'm not fitting in. Uh. <laughs> And then you got all these other cliches. You got a cliche villain. You got a cliche story. This is trash. I paid money to watch this piece of shit movie. This movie sucks. Let's break it down though, because obviously, you know, the commenters, oh, America, you're, you're not intelligent because you're saying words like bad and trash. It's obvious you're not educated. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> but it's just, it's true. It's like this movie, it started off trash and it ended trash. Honestly, to be quite honest, the only reason I watched this movie was to uh, see Anya Taylor Joy from Split and all that other crap, uh, Thoroughbreds. Uh, you know, she is the only reason I watched this movie. And, you know, she was pretty good, actually. Like, she was probably the second best uh, in terms of, like, acting. Uh, the best one was definitely Maisie Williams, uh, who played this dog character, this dog mutant character. She did a really good acting job in this movie. Uh, you know, I really liked her in this movie. I thought that she was the standout. Uh, you know, the main girl, she was boring, cliche, trash. Uh, the two guys in the movie were boring, cliche, trash. And the nurse, or doctor, whatever the hell she is, um, Dr. Reyes, she was really bad. I mean, she, she's supposed to be the villain of the movie. She's not scary. She's not horrifying she's just like this non-threatening person like what is it nowadays with these movies and and they're like oh you know the scariest villains are the ones who aren't even threatening like that's not how that works dude <laughs> like come on hire someone scary i mean this year we have had three nurse ratchet characters three First off, we got uh, this character, Trash. She's the she's the second worst one, though. And then we got Nurse Ratchet herself, played by 
crybaby Sarah Paulson because all she does is cry, cry, cry. Uh, that was the worst one. Uh, you know, Nurse Ratchet is not a lesbian. She doesn't cry. And she's certainly not Sarah Paulson. And then we got Nurse Mayflower and Fargo. Piece of shit trash season this year. And she did the best job. I mean, you should have just gotten her. I mean, come on. She's right there. You need to cast... If you're going to do another movie where you have these, this stupid Nurse Ratchet character for the millionth time... I mean, how many... How is that possible this year that there's been three Nurse Ratchets? I mean, I mean, isn't that weird, that, like, coincidence that, like, this year in particular? It's weird. And it's like, you know, if just cast her because she's the one who does a good job. Nurse Mayflower, cast her, please. Because the actress in this movie, she's not a bad actress, it's just the fact that she's not scary, and she's not intimidating. And so it's like, you know, why is she the villain in this movie? And then, the worst thing about this movie, the CGI. Ugh. God. This movie looks like it was a student film production. I mean, would you look up on YouTube how to use After Effects? Is that how you made this movie? <laughs> After Effects? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sick of this terrible CGI. This terrible writing. This terrible PG-13 teen drama crap. Why do I have to watch this? I am a grown-ass adult. And I am sitting here watching this teeny baby movie. I mean, the guy who made this movie, he's clearly influenced off of Nightmare on Elm Street 3. But the thing is, is that you look at Nightmare on Elm Street 3, and it's like, you know, that's an actual adult movie. And it's made with, like, actual effects and stuff. And it's, like, actually scary at some points. And the villain is, like, actually intimidating. And so that's why that movie works. Not because of the teen drama, the teen angst, the teen romance. Oh yeah, we gotta have a romance in this movie. Even though I, I don't think those characters are lesbians in the comic books, we gotta turn them lesbian. And uh, oh, we gotta have the relationship angst between magic and uh, the the redneck um, coal miner guy, and we gotta have this cliche, and we gotta have that cliche. I mean, why are you still writing scripts? I mean, how did this script get accepted? This script has the most cliches out of every movie I've ever seen. I mean, you could write a book about all the cliches in this effing movie. Seriously. It's just, this movie was so bad. It was so bad. It's not even a superhero movie. If it's a superhero movie, start saving people for F's sake. You're heroes. All you do is save yourselves. Selfish little teenagers. Save people. I just watched Dr. Mordred the other uh, week, some uh, last month. <laughs> that's, that sounds funny. Uh, and, you know, in Dr. Mordred, I mean, this is a low-budget affair. And in Dr. Mordred, he's saving more people than you do in 2020. I'm really starting to question every superhero movie that comes out. Are you actually a superhero movie? Or are you just another uh, drama teenage movie disguised as a superhero movie? I, I just It's just this movie was so bad. I mean, why are movies so terrible today? Why? I mean, okay, good things. Let's, let's be positive so that we can attract the mindless YouTube people viewers who like to watch, like, Chris Stuckman and shit, uh, uh, the good things about this movie, uh, number one, Maisie Williams, uh, number two, uh, nothing, 
there you go. <laughs> That's the positives for this movie. I mean, I would never watch this movie again. It's so fake. It's so... Uh, it's just so childish. I mean, you have this villain... Like, the villain... Like, God! This was the villain? And then you have the stupid CGI bear. He's this big... I mean, it's so embarrassing to see this terrible CGI. I mean, at least in Blade the Iron Cross, they were using actual effects. I mean, God! I'm, just, I'm ending up sounding like a full moon fanboy, but believe me, I'm not. Because Blade the Iron Cross sucked donkey dick as well. Uh, but this movie, I mean, it just fails on all levels. It fails to be a good teenage movie. That's number one. Uh, it fails to be a superhero movie. It fails to be an X-Men movie. It fails to be a horror movie because it's PG-13, number one, and number two because it's not scary at all and the villain sucks ass. Uh, and then number five, it fails to be a good movie in general. So this movie is just complete trash. But Maisie Williams was good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. In my rating for this movie, I'm glad you asked. Uh, 13 viewers or however, however many viewers this video gets. Uh, my rating for this movie is I'm going to rate it a school lunch. This was the worst one. Now, in elementary school, we had this chicken patty Thursday day, and it was the worst. Uh, the gravy was like snot. Uh, the mashed potatoes were clearly packaged. Uh, the chicken was awful, and there was rumor that the chicken had, like, beaks and bones and shit. Well, <laughs> one day, I was eating the chicken nuggets, because I was just desperate. I was hungry as hell, you know, because I was having terrible breakfast bar breakfast, but that's beside the point. Never eat breakfast bars for breakfast, by the way. But, um, uh, I was eating these chicken nuggets, and I'm not kidding you, there was... A quarter-sized bone. It was a ball of bone in this chicken nugget. I almost broke my teeth. It was so gross. I was eating the nugget and this 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 ball. And that is this movie. That shitty trash. I never ate that lunch again. And that was this movie. And then, of course, for dessert, though, I got for an extra 50 cents, you know, because they got to get that money. They, you know, they got to steal all they can from you. I got a, a fudge round. And, uh, you know, I know that in the past I already rated uh, Rachel True from the craft of fudge round. But I would also rate Maisie Williams a fudge round because, you know, when I ate these school lunches, usually the best thing was the dessert. And so, yeah, so, yeah, this movie is a shitty chicken lunch uh, with shitty milk and then a nice fudge round at the end. That's about it. Uh, you know, I haven't watched Game of Thrones, and, you know, I really wasn't checking for her in this movie. You know, I know a girl who looks exactly like this girl, and the girl I know is a complete trash human, and, and so, yeah... <laughs> I just wanted to share that, too, because, like, I know that, like, you know, a lot of people like her and everything, and, and so, yeah, I'll definitely be checking for her after this movie, but other than that, this movie is really bad. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, even if you're a hardcore X-Men fan. I mean, I've seen, like, every X-Men movie, and I would say that, like, this is the worst one. Or maybe, it, yeah, it, this is the worst X-Men movie. It's worse than X-Men Apocalypse. It's worse than X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, it's worse than X-Men 3. You know, it's just trash. And so, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's my review. I know I got angry in this review. I really don't like getting that way. But, of course, then when I do, I get more likes and views. So, <laughs> Uh, maybe I should just keep on doing that, even if I'm not really angry, because at the end of the day, this movie is just not worth the anger. I mean, I knew this movie was going to be trash the moment they said it was PG-13. Uh, you know, I knew this movie was going to be trash once I saw the trailer, and once, uh, 
I saw some reviews where they were like, you know, it's just okay, which means that it sucks in uh, movie review speak. Because, you know, when you see movie reviewers say something's okay, that means it's trash. Uh, you know, when people say it's just okay, it's basically so that they can uh, kiss the asses of the studios and uh, just, you know, sound like, oh yeah, it's just okay, you know, when reality, you know, they're probably like, you know, F this movie, throw it in the trash where it belongs, uh, you know, I just wanted to be honest about that, because, you know, the Schmoes, the Schmoes No Show, you know, they did a review of Avengers 2 one time, and they said it was just okay, and then as time went on, they started saying it was trash, like it is, and, you know, that's how it is, to be honest, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sidetrack but anyway if you like this video like it subscribe comment all that crap uh you know but if you leave a comment where, where if you like this movie you know that's cool too i mean i'm not gonna shit all over you for liking the movie genuinely uh you know i know that you know it's just my opinion uh but at the end of the day like movies nowadays they're just so much the same they're just so, like, you can tell if a movie's going to be good or bad. Like, it's that bad. Like, you know, I would have loved for this movie to have been, like, a great horror throwback with mut mutant powers thrown in there. But it was just, it, it was a lot more of, like, a teenage movie, to be honest, than an actual, like, horror superhero movie. So, yeah, anyways, goodbye, everybody.